Hello everyone, and welcome to another video tutorial for Lightarama S5. In today's video, we'll be talking about the top toolbar buttons in the Lightarama sequencer. When you open the Lightarama sequencer, you will see seven sections of buttons along the top row. The first two sections contain general commands, like save, undo, redo, cut, copy, and paste. You can also use keyboard shortcuts. The first unique button we come to is Paste Special, meaning that if we copy a selection of commands and click Paste Special, we will see options to flip them vertically or horizontally and change the source and destination. So if we click Flip Vertical, our effects will paste like this. Or if we click Paste Horizontal, they'll come over like this. The next option is to use the Repeat function, meaning if you select a set of effects and click Repeat, they will paste immediately into the following cells. You can do this multiple times. The next section allows you to change how your effects are pasted. Lightarama automatically defaults to paste by cell, meaning if I take these four effects and put them into the following four cells, which are not the same size, they will paste by cell. Our other options are to paste by time, to stretch to fit, and to repeat to fit. You can also save selections of effects by using the clipboards and add new. Our next section is how we play our sequence. You can play your entire sequence using the first button, or you can put your cursor down in the grid and play from here to end, start to here. The visible selection that you can see in your sequencer, or the highlighted selection. Next are pause and stop, then loop, which, when enabled, will make the sequence restart from the beginning of your selection once it's reached the end. The keyboard shortcut for start and stop is the spacebar. You can change the speed at which you play your sequence with this dropdown. It defaults to normal, but you can listen at half speed, three quarter speed, or twice the speed of the normal song. Our next section is the nudge commands, meaning that if you highlight your effects and click left, the effects will be nudged to the left. Likewise, you can nudge them to the right. You can also shorten your effects or lengthen your effects. Drag edges is a toggle button. When enabled, you'll see that red and orange bars appear on either edge of each effect. You can drag the red bar to shorten or lengthen an effect, or select the orange bar to create a ramp down. Our next section is the zoom commands. If you want to be able to see more prop lines when sequencing, you'd click on the shorter button. If you want to see less, you'd click on taller. You can also use these buttons to zoom your entire sequence out or in. Lastly are two buttons for visibility. If you don't want to see your waveform, you can toggle it off. If you want to see your playback window, you can press this and it will toggle on, or you can press it to have more space for your sequencer. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.